Hello and welcome to the new format of uh, my channel with regards to um, trying to promote music because I, I did mention recently that there's certain music I'm no longer ever going to try to promote. And I've had to have a real rethink about things because I like trying to promote <laughs> good music, right? And it felt like it was impossible. But the, the thing was before I was dealing with a band and so bands have several members and then some people want it to be promoted some people don't want it to be promoted and then there's all this other stuff and then there's a lot of politics to get, and I got uh, I dragged myself into the politics and all of that and so uh, in rethinking things over the last few days because I have plenty of time on my hands I thought <clears throat> I should focus on individuals. I should focus on the individuals and the individuals that have, and that they that they and that deserve uh, some limelight. And uh, so that was what's going on in my mind, and that's the future of this channel, right? I'm going to focus on individuals, and not on any bands, right? Um, and I thought, oh, well, how many videos am I possibly going to make, right? Like, uh, what what's there to do? And then the strangest thing happened, and I'm so happy about this. I think it's absolutely perfect. I think it's so smart. I think this is a great song. I think we can all get behind this. I think we can call radio stations and say, I want to hear this. Um, I am not an expert on the music of Phil Hendricks, okay? I know about Phil Hendricks because he played with Eric Faulkner, he played with Les, and he's in the Legendaries now. And I've watched enough online footage of him playing that I know that he's a great guitarist and really smart. But the other thing is that, uh, you know, um, that's how I came to know who this person is. But he was in a band, The Stiffs way back uh, I, I mean and they they were championed by john peel like i'm just reading this like um and then like so many bands back then especially a lot of punk bands you know things kind of it, it gets very difficult with labels and releasing music and success and not success and there's a lot of bands that they're kind of associated with from back in those days right uh but um uh, my point is we're talking about a person that has a, a pedigree of his own, right? I mean, that bo that band formed in 1976. And I think this song, and I will correct myself if, if I'm wrong, the origins of this song goes way back to then. So it, And it shows then that Phil was a great songwriter um way back at that point in time now i do remember seeing a post from him in the past saying i finally finished this song um and i don't know all the details and all the little uh, nuances that might have been changed but he was generally saying i uh, that i think uh, he was happy with the song now like what it was now and i loved that version and that was on the uh window shopping uh uh album on uh bandcamp but uh, just, I think it was today, it may have been earlier than today, um, I had mentioned in the past how much I love this song, Affairs of the Heart. And then um, Affairs of the Heart radio edit came out today, so it's essentially a single. And I think it's a really, really smart single. And I think that uh, we as fans can get behind this single and we can... Uh, you know, I see a lot of people calling up radio stations saying, I want to hear this, I want to hear this. We can get behind this single and it can do so well. It is so good. It's got such a, an excellent um, uh, punk vibe to it with a little bit of a ska and reggae vibe to it. But it's also good songwriting and the guitar work is really solid and sounds nice. Uh, the vocals sound great. Um, this is the kind of song you can get behind. I am so happy, and I think it's really smart that this has been released with a radio edit, and I want this on the radio. I think it absolutely deserves to be played on the radio. Now, I reached out to Phil today and asked, can I make a vi So this is one of the changes in my channel. I am now contacting people that I'm going to um, do spots on their music, Okay. Um, because I don't want to get involved with someone who doesn't want me talking about their music, which is what happened with the band that I was covering. People don't want me covering it, right? And so, and I understand that because it's a di diverse group of people. 
but I am now reaching out and saying, hey, I'm going to do this thing. Are you okay with that? And so I, I did reach out to Phil and I said, I want I want to talk about this because I think it's a great song and he's happy with that. And I asked, uh, you know, if he thought it would be copy struck and it may be copy struck, but I want, I, I'm not going to play the entire song, but I want people to get a taste of this song and how good it is and how it is so worthy of being on the radio. I absolutely love it. I wish I could write stuff like this. So, um, Let's try and take a listen to the song. And, uh, you know, <laughs> if you're seeing this video, you know it didn't get copy struck, right? So let's take a listen. Okay, I had to find my microphone there. <laughs> so my apologies for any of my dancing around being out of sync, but it's hard to sync all that stuff together. And this is not a um, high budget um, thing. We make no money off of here. Uh, our, my, our, well, I, I'm going to say our, because there is some work that I'm going to be doing in the future that a friend of mine may be helping me with. Um, and that's uh, totally unrelated to this, but, you know, an I may become a we at some point in time soon. But anyway, um, I hope that everyone else uh, immediately falls in love with this song like I did. Like, um, uh, this is why I say it's so smart. Like, the first time I heard it, I knew something's going on with this song. This song could be on the radio. Now, we know that everything is very difficult these days. Getting radio airplay, I, I can't even imagine what it's like. Um, and any making any money off of uh, any of your recordings, I don't I don't know how anyone does it. But um, I would encourage everyone to go to Bandcamp. I'm going to put some links in. Check out Phil's stuff. Buy the single, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you can afford it, buy it and show some support because it's awesome. And he's put lots of effort into it. And this song has been around for a long time. He's been working on this for a long time. But the other thing is, if you are, especially if you are in the UK, and I see this and I love this about a lot of the people that I'm friends with on Facebook, that they call up DJs and say, hey, I want to hear this song. This is the song right now. This is the song that we want to request. I will also look into doing this here in Canada, but I don't know uh, what kind of success I will have because um, I don't know how radio stations pull down the music that they're going to play. It's a great song. You know what? I'll call up some college radio stations and say, hey, I want to hear this because you never know what could happen with that. Uh, congratulations to Phil. I love this song. I'm so glad that you chose it as a single. I think it's a great one. I, I really hope that, uh, you know, something really comes of this song after all these years. Uh, thanks for all of your music. And hey, we're all going to, well, I'm not going to, but a lot of people are going to be seeing you uh, later on this year, and they're very happy uh, about that. Uh, th thanks for, for um, responding to me, Phil, and all the best with this single. I think it's great. <laughs> 